All right, guys, I have uh, finished the breeder section. And as you see behind me, I have laid out some track. And I have some carts with me. So, that means one thing. Let's go get us some villagers. Come on, let's go. Let's go get some villagers, yeah. So I'm going to show uh, transport of one of the villagers to where I am right now. Then the other two that I'm going to stick up in the sky above me, right there, are going to come via osmosis. And I'm going to do those off camera. But I want to just show you the... the um, The trials and tribulations of moving one villager. So let's go and get that villager and hurt myself on the way. I am in villager land. So who seems like a good guy to get? I think I'm going to go after... Is that a baby? Oh no, it's just false perspective. Yes. Who wants to come? Oh, I guess you do. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cleric. Oh, let me get back you back onto the track. You weren't the one that I wanted to go bring, but um, you really wanted to... Oh, really? You really wanted to come with me. As soon as I put down that cart, you were like, yes. So this is like almost as annoying as um, dealing with animals, moving animals around. Because that happens, and I don't know, that used to not happen. Where the villager would go right through you. But why? This is really effing annoying. I used to have no problem moving these. I wonder if they changed something. But this is the snap. <laughs> this is 1.8. I've been using 1.8 for years. Literally. Really. Guy. Well, we got two now. How the hell does that happen? Okay. Well, that ain't working. So, let's... Fix this a little bit. Make this track a little bit easier to handle. I never had this much trouble moving these suckers. This is actually really pissing me off right now. Come on. Get up there. Okay. You've made it. Oh, you really suck. Get out of here. Okay, are you gonna go? I mean, that other guy, he jumped right into the cart. And he said... I want to go, but once he got into the cart, it's like, no, I don't want to go. So, you are in where you need to be. So, where are you going to be when I cut this out? Go away. Thank you. We might actually get a villager to this other place. Holy moly. Yes. Hello, sir. Would you be so kind? Thank you. We're going for a ride. Just ignore the pigmen, okay? They're not going to hurt you. Are you a farmer? Oh, you're a Fletcher. Okay, so I don't really care about you. Well, I do. You're, you're going to be the villager that makes all the other ones nice and morning. I don't know. He's going to be the one that is 12 blocks away from all the others. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, you're supposed to go for a ride. Go through. Okay, thank you. We almost got the villager there. Yes. Stay on the cart. I mean, stay on the track. No, 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 no. We got to go this way. There we go. You're being so kind. Now hopefully I can get you up there 
fairly easily. And here we go. Oh. I don't want any troubles like I had in the other place. Just to, one more hill. Yeah, I don't know why that other villager wasn't moving for me. All right. You are where you need to be. Let me put this half slab, the slab of slab, down. Let me cut this and hopefully not hurt him too bad. There we go. Let me take this thing from underneath you because, oh, sorry about that. And now I can get rid of this glass. Excellent. So now I have villager number one. He's not going anywhere. Nothing can get to him. Well, right now something can get to him. Well, right now nothing can get to him. So we're well on our way. And I'll uh, be back when I get the other two up there. And then I can show you the stuff in action. All right, guys, I have finished the breeder up top and put some villagers in that breeder. And I am trying to get them to breed. Um, let me go up on this temporary ladder. Again, thank you, XO. <laughs> um, let me see. So every once in a while, they do get the heartsy hearts. Let me see if I can get over here. So they're hanging out in there. They were actually a little bit easier to get in than this guy. Hi. How are you doing? Not bad. That's good. Can you guys like uh, forget about me and make some babies? Because I need babies in that little chamber down there. So look at your buddy there with the white shirt and make babies please because I need babies to grow up and then join you in there nope give them a little bit of privacy we'll just not look at them <laughs> oh you see the hearts yeah we got hearts um, as a matter of fact I've been getting hearts a lot um, I did injure uh, the villagers while moving them and there's a 20 minute cooldown <laughs> span, a 20 minute end game, I think, from an injury or something. I don't know what it is, but they're delayed when you when they're not at 100% health. And they're, these two guys aren't at 100% health, so it's taking a little bit longer to get them to um, get them to breed. See, both of them had hearts there, but. It's not, it's just a waiting game, and I could trade with them and get them all the way to 100% health right away, but it's a pain in the butt now where they are to get to be able to see them and trade with them, so I'm just going to give it a little while, but I am happy that this thing is done. Um, again, to refresh your memory, a baby gets born, it goes into these two um, side water ways and come down here and there's a little hole there that they can hang out in and um it's a one block area that is clean so when they're little babies they can breathe and stuff but once they grow to too high and become an adult they get back into the water stream and then they'll swim up to the top here then they'll f follow the stream over here and fall into here and so basically the goal is to get as many villagers kind of like a chicken cooker trying to get as many chickens in there to cook up some meat but instead in this case it's villagers to cook up some more villagers I guess so once I get the proper amount of villagers in there I know I've kinda of probably gone over this in this video already once but I just kinda of want to clarify it for my good and maybe your good if you missed it um, I'm gonna change this so when they swim up the water stream then goes this way then pops them Oh, what am I doing? Throwing my meat. Plops them right here. I am so glad that's still covered. And um, 
this won't be covered and they'll just fall through that water and end up in my holding chamber inside so everything is looking good on this front um, let's go look at my holding chamber real quick yeah we're doing some parkour off the building and if you're wondering I did look it up iron doors do not affect villagers so this is where they're gonna hang out so the next part is whether or not I want to do this and um, which is the zombie collection system I'll say since I've had the villagers in there every um, night even like when it's kind of getting night like this and I run to my bed and go to sleep I'll come back and there is zombies down there so it does uh, suck up a lot of um, interest from the mobs these villages villagers um, so I was thinking of doing that zombie trap but the other day I came out here uh, after one of those nights and uh, there was creepers and stuff down here which was kind of my fear but let's see um, I'm just uh, gonna clear out a little bit of space here like that um, I'll go down one more that's not gonna affect anything okay where's my dirt I don't know if I'll beautify this I'm just kinda setting this up seeing if it's gonna be plausible to set up the water stream here um, the other water bucket hmm I need a couple more water buckets see if I can get this water stream going in the direction I need it to go and hit it the water on the other two sides or I will come on oh <laughs> trying to collect water in a full bucket it's not gonna work <laughs> oh I think I may have to change these water streams around it now that I'm thinking of it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So that's not gonna work either. Hmm. Wondering how I can do this so well I can or can I? I think I can just move everything over one. I could do it here. Oh. I'm going to work this off. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do that off camera. Um, I got to figure out what I want to do there, and I'm not ready for it. But basically. The water stream will push the zombies over here, then push them here, and then I can kill them for XP. Because this thing will be a zombie magnet. <laughs> it's a monster magnet. But anyways, um, I am worried about creepers and stuff, so I don't know. I, I think I might set it up temporary, check it out, and uh, figure out if I like it. And look at that, there is a baby. Oh yeah, baby. Sass. Let's go check out our baby. We should name our baby. I had to find a better way to get over to our breeder. But then again, I guess I'm not going to be over here once the machine starts going. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see our baby. Uh, something's blowing up underground. Or was there a creeper out there trying to blow me up? Let's take a look when I get up here. Huh, that was weird. I hope the shit wasn't blown up underground. Hmm, that was weird. He looks like a baby something. He's looking at his buddies. Well, it doesn't matter what type of guy he is. So yeah, these guys are ready to go. So guess what? Our job is done for the day. We're going to call it here. I'll work on the uh, 
the zombie monster magnet thing um, later when I got a plan for it that will work instead of just goofing around on video and wasting your time. Anyways, this is episode 18 of Jams! Just another Minecraft series. And it's going pretty good. I'm getting the villagers going. Um, for the Iron Golem Farm. And I wanted to correct something. Because, um, white, a long time ago, I made a video where I made a Iron Golem Farm in a Spawn Chunks area. And I said, it's good to make the Iron Golem Farm in the Spawn Chunk area because they will continue continually spawn even when you're not in the spawn chunks and I know a friend of mine uh, Whitefire had made a uh, iron golem farm in his spawn chunks and he was a little disappointed with the amount of um, iron he was getting and he was saying thinking that it might have been the fact that iron golems do not spawn in the spawn chunks when you're not in the spawn chunks but, and I felt bad because I'm thinking maybe he got that information from me and I was wrong. So I actually looked it up and as of right now the Minecraft wiki says that, and you know wikis can be wrong, but uh, the Minecraft wiki does state that in the Spawn Chunks wiki page, the Iron Golems do spawn in the Spawn Chunks even if you're thousands of blocks away. So, um... Something might be wrong with the Gullum farm, or you, your one platform might be a little too much to expect a whole bunch of iron. And I know you do watch um, Hermitcraft, so you might be expecting iron like they do with the Titan, but believe me, um, you're not going to get those results, or even 10% of those results, or maybe even 1% of those results. Um, I think a stack of iron an hour is pretty good. Of being on a thing but it is I don't know I haven't actually done the statistics for iron golem farms and all that goulash but um, according to the wiki if an iron golem farm is in your spawn chunks and you're not in your spawn chunks iron golems will still spawn it's just that iron golem farms are slow as molasses unless you build something like the Iron Titan which is quite unrealistic unless you have a team of people doing it but um, because I kind of felt bad because um, Whitefire had made one in one of his videos great person to watch and uh, he seemed kind of bummed out of the amount of iron he was getting and he was thinking that it wasn't because uh, the because the golem's responding when he was not in the spawn chunks. It's just iron golem farms are really slow. So, uh, check it out someday. Check your iron, um, and your iron golem farm, and then go away for a while, and then come back and see how, if there's a difference in the amount of iron you have. And I guarantee you that there will be a difference in that it's just a slower farm than expected. Oh, So... I guess you could call that the editorial, but I felt bad there for a couple of minutes because I thought I was spouting wrong information, but it was right. Um, iron golems do spawn in spawn chunks when you're not in those spawn chunks. And I don't know if these guys make babies, but, you know, it couldn't hurt to have it in the spawn chunks anyways. I think they do. I'll look that up before the next, next episode. But till then, sorry for the editorial and the talk, talk, talk. Have a great day. Enjoy your winter. It's mid-February. It's getting cold out there. It's even 76 degrees out there today for us. Ooh. I'm rubbing it in. <laughs> I'll go outside and watch the people swim in the ocean today. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, that was kind of like a middle finger to all you guys up in the northern states. Sorry, but this is a good year for a uh, good time of year for Florida. I'm going to enjoy it because the rest of the year sucks. <laughs> Bye-bye.